Philippine educational system during the Japanese era. Pearl Harbor was attacked by the air fleet of Japan. The Japanese occupation happened in 1942 to 1945. The Empire of Japan occupied the Commonwealth of the Philippines during World War II. Japanese devised curriculum caused a blackout in the Philippine education and impeded the educational progress. They introduced many changes on the curriculum by including Nihongo and abolishing English as the medium of communication instruction and as a subject. All textbooks were censored and revised. The teaching of Tagalog, Philippine history, and character education was reserved for Filipinos. During World War II, Filipinos were forced to learn Japanese Tagalog language, began to incorporate Japanese slang and idioms. Japan occupied the Philippines for over three years. They colonized the Philippines to gain power over their neighbors and also to oust American and European influences from the region. The Philippines had suffered a great loss of life and tremendous physical destruction by the time the war is over. 100 peso note made by the Japanese during occupation. This picture shows children being taught the Japanese language. <music> Military Order Number no. 2 in 1942 Japanese educational were embodied in the Military Order Number no. 2. Schools were reopened in June 1942 with 3,000 students. The Philippine Executive Commission of Education, Health, and Public Welfare. Curriculum and the Six Principles of the Japanese Republic First, foster a Filipino culture based. Second, realizing of new order and promote friendly relations between Japan and the Philippines to the farthest extent. Third, endeavor to elevate the morals of people giving up over emphasis of materials. Fourth, diffusion of Japanese language in the Philippines. Also, to inspire people with the spirit to love neighbor. And lastly, promotion of vocational course. Aim for education. Eradicate all the idea of reliance on Western nations. Love of labor. Military training. Educational types. Nihongo language, vocational training, health, education, agriculture. Curriculum. School calendar became longer. No summer vacation for students. Class size increased to 60. Nihongo as means of introducing and cultivation love for Japanese culture. Subject were studied. The ruling samurai had studied literature and Confucianism at their hanko, the domain schools. The commoners had learned reading, writing, and arithmetic at numerous terakoya, the temple schools. Both samurai and commoners also pursued medicine, military science, and practical arts at Shijuku, the private schools. The equal access to quality education didn't meet during the Japanese regime. Filipino people suffered a lot following rules over the dictatorship of the Japanese conqueror. The desire of the Filipinos in returning to school was gone. First, because they think that the Japanese intentions were suspicious. And second, 
It's because children focus to help their parents tide over difficult time. Filipinos does not have any capability to learn their own language. Instead, they are easily to teach other one that causes them to forget their own. Filipino motto, Kapayapaan, Peace, Kalayaan, Freedom, Katarungan, Justice. Some terms to remember, Kalibapi, Kapisana ng Paglilingkod sa Bagong Pilipinas, Huk Balahap, Hukbong Bayan Laban sa Hapon, Bureau of Constabulary, Makapili and Kinpeitay, Puppet Republic, Second Republic, sponsored by the Japanese government. National Anthem, Diwa ng Bayan, Spirit of the Nation. Some names to remember, General Douglas MacArthur. He was considered to be a military demigod who saved the Philippines from the atrocities of the Japanese in World War II. Jose P. Laurel. He was a former president of the Second Philippine Republic, a Japanese puppet state during World War II. Governor General Tomoyoki Yamashita. He devised a clever defensive plan for Luzon by dividing the 14th Army into three defense groups. Governor General Masaharu Homa. He was well remembered for his role in the invasion and occupation of the Philippines during World War II. What may enter General Homa to our people is that he ordered his troops to treat the Filipinos not as enemies but as friends and respect their customs and religion.